Hello folks, welcome to another entry into my random game series, and I think maybe the horror game series. Uh, this is one I found called Ode to a Moon. Uh, it looks visually interesting, and it's, um, it says, A psychotronic adventure following the mysterious aftermath of a grim harvest festival gone horribly wrong. Ode to a Moon is a first-person cosmic horror game currently in development. As photojournalist of a pop for a popular tabloid, you're tasked with covering a historic fall festival in a faraway rural town during a centennial lunar eclipse. Camera in hand, you set off to that romantic hamlet only to discover the macabre fallout of a town's descent into madness. It is inspired by real events in the belief that truth is, strong is stranger than fiction. So sounds interesting, looks interesting. Uh, I'm assuming it's just a little demo, but let's give it a let's give it a try. I think I've played games by Color Fiction before, and I already like the style. <laughs> I already like the style. Right. Let's go. I've seen this uh, TV overlay before in Hollow Park. These guys made Nightline, which was like this little train riding simulator thing I played once. Might be wrong, but I really like the style they have. Music by Hello Meteor. Please don't be copyrighted. Manhattan, October 1986. It's been pouring all night. Midnight. Yeah, I really like this style. This is really cool. I should quit at some point. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I need to unpack later. Night? Yeah, it's not. Notes from yesterday's meeting. <clears throat> 1. Take 425 train to Ashfield, Connecticut. 2. Document the eclipse from a scenic vantage point. The old Fairview Castle might be a good spot. 3. Interview first selectman about the history behind Ashfield's Ode to a Moon Festival and this year's concurrence with the eclipse. What is it with... Okay, s small, um, complaint. So many games get this weird. The height. I'm either really short or this is really tall. Anyways, just a minor complaint. Oh. Okay. To 11 p.m. Oh, we just skipped forward. I thought I was having a head trip. All right, let's be off then. Okay. I hate it when that happens. Don't you hate it when that happens? Who's that? He asks. Just your... Okay, now this is super familiar. Need to get off one station before Ashfield. Fairview, I think it's called. Glad to leave the city behind. Need a change of scenery. Fix your tracking. Fix the tracking on the tape, please. It's your remote. Twelve. 
I must be close. Such an endless sea of trees. It's incredible to think all this forest grew in the last hundred years or so. What? What do you mean? I'm pretty sure it's been there longer than that. Ashfield, Connecticut. Population 2,592. Founded 1690. Home to former Ashfield tanneries, now our allied industries. Historical highlights, trials of 1692, the dam catastrophe of 1873, pardon me, strike of Fairview, 1913. Ashfield, Connecticut, 9 p.m. I know I said it like several times, but I really love this visual style. You could maybe do with a little less with the uh, the TV outline. Uh, just maybe turn it back a little bit, but other than that, this is really cool. Oh. I wanted to explore. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hello, other dimension. Sure, I'll follow the path. Why not? Okay. Um. Well then. An old ticket booth or newsstand has not seen action in decades. Maybe a little less with the tracking errors too. Just another minor thing. I mean, if anyone remembers the VHS days, yeah, you get tracking errors, but they weren't this constant. And if they were, you needed to clean your VCR or spend more time fixing it. Fixing the tracking, that is. Gosh, that was scary. Oh no. Not a horn. Darker. I can't see a thing. Turn up your gamma. going straight, I guess. Sorry, I don't really know what to say. I'm just kind of enjoying the surroundings here. Okay, we are through the forest there. That was a really cool section, by the way. So far, everything is. Oh. Look 
about the scenic route. Oh, something. Ah, of course, the castle ruins that everyone entering the town must pass through. Holy crap. don't really know what to say. Other than whoa. We're gonna get out of here? as it is. We've been here for a while. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll just go right up into the moon monster thing. Why not? Still here. Tracking's getting sketchy. Oh. <laughs> okay, I gotta remember to put like a flashing light warning at the beginning of this. So I reckon if you're epileptic, this is not a good game to watch.
Okay, so the game just closed right there. So that's the end of the demo. It's really, really cool so far. I really, I really want to play the full thing. Definitely going to keep my eye on this and whenever it comes out, I'll have to pick it up because I really like the visual style. I hope they do a little less with the head trip stuff. Maybe that's just a demo thing and just a little more with like exploring the town and, and stuff. That would be really cool in this kind of visual format. Uh, but yeah, I, I really, really like that. I, I'll leave a link to this in the video description if you want to play it yourself. Um, like, as you saw, it's just a demo prototype at the moment. But uh, I hope they uh, turn this into a whole thing. Um, anyways, that will do it. So I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.